Hi there, I'm Brian Burkhardt of Square Planet and welcome to this edition of Orange, our monthly video to help you become an amazing communicator. And I'm really excited to talk to you this month about something that we take very seriously around here. It's a big one. In fact, we believe it's the single biggest mistake that people make when they communicate. That mistake is selfishness. I want you to think about it for a second and there's lots of ways to think about this, but I'm going to stick with the live presentation for just a moment. Think about that person who was given a 45 minute time slot and they go 60 minutes. They go 15 minutes long. It's incredibly selfish. How about that same person standing up in front of the audience and they say things like, if you could see what this slide says, if you could read this little tiny, tiny little font, you would know that it says, that's incredibly selfish. They should have built the graphics in a way that you, the audience, could actually see this material. We see leaders of large organizations acting selfishly all the time. Some of the best work we do is truthfully smacking these guys around and making them realize that the way they behave, the things they say, the attitude they portray is selfish. It's the wrong thing to do and brands get this wrong as often as people do. Think about things like the websites that you may have read or seen or maybe even your own. How about your brochures? Do you talk above people? Is it laborious and thick and difficult to get through? Does it sound maybe a little bit like a, a manual to put a big machine together? The reality is those kind of communication devices, that style, it's selfish. You make it all about you and it needs to be all about your audience. You know, I travel fairly frequently here for Square Planet and not like every month or even every week, but certainly in kind of fits and starts. I'm sort of that step below that really frequent flyer kind of guy. I have status, but not the premier one, right? And so I'm usually in that second tier of people that get on the plane. The first are those road warriors, those guys that are there all the time. I'm that second group. But this weird thing occurs. There are times when I get on the plane as the second group guy and there's no space in the overhead. And see, it's weird. Those group one guys, they're good. They know how to travel. They've got the bag that fits perfectly in the overhead. But then here's where it gets interesting. Sometimes they'll put this bad boy up there and it fits great, right? But then they'll take their laptop bag and they'll put it up there too. And then they'll take their suit coat off or their winter coat and they'll put it up there too. And I'm that second group guy. There's lots of people behind me. I get on the plane, I see mostly empty seats. I get to my row and the overhead is already full. That group one guy was selfish. It'll fit. Oh, it'll fit. I hate that guy. I want to rip his stuff out of the bin and put my stuff in because he was so selfish. It's an awful thing and we really don't like it as human beings and we certainly don't like it in the world of business or communications. And I want to tell you the story about a guy named Eddie Lampert. At one point, Eddie was the richest man in Connecticut. He had started a hedge fund, made a ton of money, and used that money to buy his way into a very senior leadership position at two iconic brands, Sears and Kmart. He bought those companies and put them together to make one special brand. And you know, it never really worked. And one could look at that and say it was because Eddie was selfish. For example, after he took control with no retail experience, he did things like had Rolex watches available at Sears. These are $4,000 plus dollar watches at Sears. He did things like Louis Vuitton bags and really specialty handbags and made them available at a store that's known for its hardware. He was being selfish. He was making it all about him. Recently, Eddie was voted the worst CEO in America. Take a look, go Google him. He's still there. 
And the reality is, is if you think about it, how often do you hear, think, or experience brands like Sears or Kmart anymore? They're fading. The question really is, how long will they be around for? My hunch is not very long. Just like that group one guy who takes all the overhead, they're being selfish. They're not remembering their audience and they're doing things for themselves. As you communicate, as you establish your brand, make sure you tell us what you believe and also tell us things about us. Don't be selfish. Don't make it about you. Don't be thick and murky. Do the things that connect us, not push us away. For this edition of Orange, I'm Brian Burkhart. We'll talk to you next month. Thanks so much.